Extra depth on a Texas program that's been around for almost a decade but is not commonly utilized. We're talking about the Texas School Marshal Program. The program, which has been around since 2013, allows certain school employees to carry a firearm on school campus. But this may be the first time you've ever heard of it. That's because there are only a little more than 250 licensed school marshals across 62 districts in the state. But keep in mind, there are more than 1,200 districts across Texas, meaning less than 5% actually have one. So why is this coming back into the conversation in Texas? Governor Greg Abbott, in a letter to the Texas Education Agency June 2nd in response to the Uvalde school shooting, told Commissioner Mike Morath, quote, you should develop strategies to encourage school districts to increase the presence of trained law enforcement officers and school marshals on campuses. And since then, there has been more discussion about the school marshal program, including during today's city council meeting. So what exactly is it? Its, quote, sole purpose is to prevent the act of murder or serious bodily injury on school premises. There are several requirements to become a school marshal, which include being an employee of a school district, approved by the governing body or the school board. You must have a current license to carry. You must pass a psychological exam, complete the 80 hour school marshal course and complete a 16 hour renewal course every two years. Now those courses include active shooter response training, use of force and weapon proficiency. We reached out to the local school districts to see if any currently have a school marshal and the short answer is no. El Paso ISD does not, but it has its own police department. YISD and SISD did not respond. Kennedy ISD says it's ha it has its own police force, quote, that patrols and monitors campuses and facilities. Fabens ISD Superintendent Dr. Veronica Vigil says the district does not participate in the program, but has three school resource officers in addition to security officers who are employed by the district. They work in partnership with the Sheriff's Department, which hires the SROs. Meanwhile, Tornillo ISD superintendent says the district is currently considering all options. In fact, tomorrow the Board of Trustees will be presented with a recommendation to hire a school resource officer for the district. Now to further encourage school districts to adopt the program, the governor's office started providing the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement a grant in 2018. That covers the cost for the initial training for the school marshal program other than travel costs. Again, there are no local school districts that we heard from saying they're going in this direction but you may start hearing it brought up in discussions on school safety going forward.